Net worth stock is up 35 cents at $25 a share. Those are the day's top business stories. Now let's go to TSE Stock Marketplace. Thanks very much. For the last 36 hours, the I Love You virus has been creating havoc around the world, certainly here in North America, and already business interruption costs are estimated at more than a billion dollars. To uh, talk about the virus and what's being done to uh, strangle it, I'm joined by Bill Margison, who is the uh, president and CEO of CBL Data Recovery Technologies. Welcome, Bill. Hello. You folks have really been busy as a result of this virus. Is it just a nuisance or can it really do some serious damage? Well, um, uh, it, it, it's just really a nuisance at this juncture. The, the instances of data, data loss are very small. What actually happens is the, uh, the virus infects your machine and proceeds to email everyone you've ever emailed. And the end result of that is the mail servers get bogged down. And the only way to, uh, to solve the problem is to shut the servers down, hence the business interruption. But data loss has been a minimum, at minimum. I understand, though, that it can uh, damage uh, audio and visual components of a computer. Yes, it, it actually uh, uses uh, um, uh, WAV files, uh, uh, MP3s, graphic files as sort of its host, as the means of infecting. And you folks have been working uh, since this began with the government and other agencies to try to uh, cure their problems. What are you doing? Well, uh, we, we actually got alerted uh, at 6 a.m. yesterday, UK time. Uh, our lab there then alerted us 6 a.m. our time, and yesterday unfolded, unfolded in chaos. Uh, it just spread so pro prolifically. Uh, by 2 p.m., we were in excess of 300,000 servers infected, and uh, our lab's been busy trying to work on a quick fix. Uh, for what is a quick fix? A uh, quick fix is a, a script we've written. It's available on the website for free, and, and what it does, it removes the offending files, um, and you still, um, you still have to not open the I Love You email. That's a really important point. If somebody still has that in their system, what should they do? Uh, uh, immediately delete it. As soon as you execute it, you're reinfected. This apparently originated in the Philippines. What do we know about uh, where it began and uh, how it spread its tentacles around the world? Well, at, at this juncture, the, the antivirus community has been very um, uh, fixated on trying to find out how to, how to cure it and what, what it's doing. But I believe the FBI are, are now uh, very focused on trying to find out where it originated. Uh, that won't take them long. Are we in danger of having uh, copycats uh, involved in this? Yes, in fact, there's, there's some new viruses afoot that uh, are mimicking a little bit, uh, and these are all current event things. So as this day unfolds, we'll know more. But uh, it seems to be under control with regards to the, the I Love You virus, at, at the least. But this is a continuing danger to computer users. Yes, sir. it's recommended that you update your, your uh, antivirus software uh, daily now as to clear this out. Bill Margison, thanks so much for coming in. I know you're very busy. And uh, stay with us. We'll have more of today's top stories coming up here on CTV News Network.